Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven got speed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Наши программы предлагают много языков. Пожалуйста, посмотрите suprememastertv.com касайте ташкеду. Nothing is more satisfying than making your own food and seeing your loved ones enjoying your food. Homemade vegan noodles with soy protein and vegetable sauce and silken tofu with homemade syrup, part one of two. Keep watching to find out more. I decided to give everything to the church, live on minimal things, just vegan food, because I need 5,000 lifetimes to make up for the 5,000 animals that died for me to eat them. I can't create life, so the best I can do is give my life in the service of God. Reverend Pastor Robert Munro, vegan. Jak se mate, wonderful viewers? I'm Alena. I've just asked how are you in Czech. The enchanting people of the Czech Republic are grateful for your saintly demeanor given by the grace of God. Wherever you go, may blessing and goodness follow you so that you may be a source of good fortune to all you meet. Welcome to A Gift of Love, Simple and Nutritious Cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan. In our spiritual life on Earth, Supreme Master Ching Hai teaches us the highest method, the Quan Yin Method, which enables our souls to be liberated from the cycle of birth and death. In our daily lives, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, reminds us to live a meaningful, saintly life with purity and compassion. She shares the art of vegan cuisine so that we may bring a warm and loving atmosphere to our families and friends over food. Her loving cuisine is not only nutritious and healthy, but also helps our consciousness to be in harmony with nature and full of benevolence for all beings. Si nous voulons apporter le paradis sur la terre, nous devons vivre comme les êtres du paradis. C'est-à-dire vivre dans fashion harmonieuse en respectant la liberté et le droit de vivre de chacun. Les cinq préceptes et le régime végétarien, il s'agit seulement d'un style de vie juste et noble, celui d'un gentleman, d'un charge Constant compassion et grandeur, et dont l'amour inclut toutes les créatures. Étant l'être le plus élevé de toute la création, nous pouvons distribuer cette grâce en préservant la vie dans le monde où nous vivons. Et c'est cela. Contribuer à la paix sur la terre. C'est cela l'amour, la gentillesse en action. Supreme Master Ching Hai encourages and promotes veganism as a noble way of living. 
she personally designed the alternative living flyer and launched a global campaign to share this peaceful and loving message with the world. If we want to truly lead a life of love thy neighbor, our neighbors should include our animal friends, especially since they harm us in no way. They only beautify our lives. They are loving and they make our lives more lively, colorful and interesting. We should preserve them, watch them, love them and enjoy their presence. God has made it clear, He says, I made all the animals to befriend you and help you. Through her teachings, millions of people have become vegetarian or vegan, changing their way of thinking in regard to the sentient nature of our animal friends. With boundless love, Supreme Master Ching Hai sets aside her precious time and demonstrates a few simple and aesthetically appetizing dishes. With heartfelt gratitude, we sincerely thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for sharing with us wonderful vegan dishes and easy cooking tips. Today, we joyfully present Supreme Master Ching Hai's homemade vegan noodles with soy protein and vegetable sauce and silken tofu with homemade syrup, part one of two. We are making some uh, fresh uh, homemade noodles for that, and we need uh, some flour. I put here 250 grams of wheat flour and a pinch of salt put in there, and we need some water. But don't put them all at once. You have to see how much you need. And then we also need some uh, sauce to go with it. So we have soya protein yeah very fine like grains it's not the the thick one yeah. and we have to soak it you know we, we take like one cooking spoon of uh, soya protein put in a bowl and we also take some of the black fungus just put in a handful together with it and then we soak it in water. These uh, black fungus, they make it into strips already, you see? So it's just, uh, very thin and fine. If not, you can buy those a whole and then soak them and then chop them into shredded pieces. Fungus and uh, soya protein are uh, soaking to be softened. You can soak the fungus in hot water, yeah, maybe it's quicker. We uh, prepare the sauce for the noodles, okay? I have a bunch of uh, red grapes, yeah. Some uh, finely chopped uh, green pepper, mm -hmm. and a tomato, medium size. And we're going to mix it together with the soya and the fungus later for the sauce. And to prepare the noodles, we'll mix the flour and a, a little bit of water, like three tablespoons first, and stir it together. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, this is already very good. We don't use all of the quarter of the little of water, just a couple of tablespoons must be good enough to make it into a paste, you know? First, you use some chopsticks or fork or a mixer to mix it so it doesn't stick too much on your hand. And when the dough is already dry and sticks together, no, and you can use your hand. Yeah. It's better to flour your hand with some of the leftover flour so it doesn't stick too much in the beginning. Yeah. When your hand is uh, covered with flour, the dough, we're going to stick to your hand. Okay. And then we mix it together. 
into a small bowl, mix it like that, and leave it there. Yeah, like the way you would uh, prepare it to make pastry. Right. Okay. So it becomes a bowl like this, huh? Ready to use. We leave it there. And we also make some dessert later, hmm? That is for the noodles. And dessert today, we have silk tofu. It's super fine and tender. Yes, we're going to make a sweet course out of it. It's very simple. You just warm the tofu, yeah? In a microwave, yeah. Or steam it, yes. And then uh, make a sweet sauce to pour over it and it's ready. Very nutritious and very good. Now we boil the big pot of water. You can put like two-thirds of water into that big pot. Boil the water. And then we prepare the ingredients for the sauce. Huh? You can also either peel the tomato and peel the skin of the uh, green pepper or you just leave it as is. It's also fine. We prepare this first while waiting for the, uh, the water to boil. If you peel the tomato, you know already that uh, the sauce will be smoother, yeah? Without the peel. But if you don't peel, it's also fine. Some people say the skin of the fruit is very nutritious. From today, you know, you graduate into a more refined, karma-less, cooking. Everything that is grown out of uh, the plant, it, fruit-like or beans or peas, they are okay or not. They are karma-less, absolutely. Yeah? We do not harm the trees, we do not harm the plant, and we also do not uh, harm the worm in the earth from digging them out or cutting the plant. If you prefer this way, it's fine. So we're just using fruit-like, yeah? We don't use any more plant, no cutting, no onions, no root. If you can, follow this, it's fine. If not, please, just a vegan diet is wonderful. And a little karma, you can erase it by uh, deep prayer, doing good things, and of course, meditation. So you chop the uh, the grapes also fine together. Take away the seeds, yeah? mm. and chop the tomato also together with the uh, with the green pepper. Green pepper, red pepper, and yellow is fine too. I just use a little color. Mm. It makes it look nice. Chop them very fine, yeah. And so when we cook, it becomes like a sauce and not chunky. If you are more picky, then you can skin the grape. So it's only the flesh of the grape left. It will be real smooth then. Or you can put uh, all these um, fruity vegetables into a blender uh, and blend it and make it a real smooth substance. Uh? But uh, we're busy, we don't care so much. We just chop it with the skin and everything. And the skin is good for our health. Uh, many of the the food I cook for you is uh, my own <laughs> invention and uh, home cooking. So if you cannot find it uh, in other books, then don't be surprised, okay? I'm not cooking according to the book. I'm cooking according to my own <laughs> arrangement, yeah? and my own finding. You can also do the same. It's more fun this way, huh? But of course, books of a variety of a try and trusted recipes, and they're wonderful tools, especially for beginners. So do not hesitate to buy vegan cookbooks. And uh, also you can download all the free recipes from SupremeMasterTelevision.com. So chop everything finely together, like that. Green pepper, red grape, 
It's a little sweeter than the green grape, I think. Otherwise, you can also use the green grapes, okay? And tomatoes. I'm going to make those out of it. The water is waiting to be boiled. You see the soya protein and the mushroom out of the water. To make sure there's not much water left, you use your hand to squeeze the water out of it. All the water is out. I have to put them aside first because I don't have enough room here. If you have a bigger kitchen, be happy. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> These are small country house. They don't have the sophisticated kitchen equipped to cook for the public. Just a simple family kitchen. We have to prepare the noodle now. There are two ways you can prepare the noodle, huh? You take the dough out and you flatten it with a roller. Flatten it to like a, a one half centimeter thick. Flatten it, okay? Like that. Did I tell you that you have to uh, flour your board? And also flour your roller so it doesn't stick to the dough. Flatten it. It doesn't matter how thick. It's not like you have to measure well, like mathematically. Just roll it out. And now the water is boiled already. So all we do is cut these noodles into strips. You just strip the noodle like this, mm, small strip, yeah, thin, very thin and small, finger-like or even thinner, yeah, and you put it in the boiling water, and there, yeah, it's good, you can stretch it out a bit, put it in hot water, see that, yeah, you just cut it into strips like this, it's fun to make your own noodles when it's fresh, huh? Okay, and you stretch out a little bit so it's thinner even. And put it in the pot of boiling water. There you are, see that? There. It can be short or it can be long. It's okay. You know, it's homemade, it's fun. Like that, see that? Put it in there. And it's gonna be cooked. Wow, it's cooking, it's cooking. It's another way you just take out the dough the way it is, and you pinch it like this, huh? And you put it in there, just pinch it. So it's easy, just pinch a little bit like this, see? Like your fingertip, and put it in there. There's a two ways to make your noodle. Otherwise, keep doing this. But sometimes you have to flour your knife, okay? So it doesn't stick to the dough. Yeah, flour it, this is more smooth and stretch it out a little bit put in the boiling water that's all we do like this put it there see nice and long okay. after all the noodles are in the pot already yes we let it reboil for two minutes and then you can put it aside or you can continue to leave it on, on the hot uh, cooker for, you know, until you use it. Yeah. It is safe also to put it aside after it's been boiled for a few minutes. This is, uh, see whether it's, it's cooked inside. It's very simple to, to know. It's very quick, actually. A couple of minutes and it's cooked already. Yeah. Right. If you're not sure, you can cook a little bit further, huh? Hmm. And the noodles should not taste mushy, but it would taste, uh, you know, like a little bit chewy, and that should be perfect. Ingredients. For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the homemade vegan noodles, the ingredients are 250 grams of wheat flour, 
3 tablespoons of water, pinch of salt, water for boiling. For the soy protein and vegetable sauce, the ingredients are 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil, 1 cooking spoon of soy protein, black fungus, red grapes, bell pepper, any color, 1 medium tomato, half tablespoon of vegan stir-fry sauce, few drops of maggi, optional, a pinch of salt, optional, chili sauce, optional, pinch of ground black or white pepper, optional. Vegan, because it's time to stop the talk and begin the walk. Noble viewers, thank you for joining us today. Don't miss part two of the show next Sunday. Our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, will continue to share more with us. Our beautiful planet and animal people all love you for your compassionate, caring heart. Coming up next is Always Have Respect for the Master, part 4 of 5 on Between Master and Disciples. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May we all pray for a peaceful world to come soon with the Divine's grace. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not rich. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash G-O-L 